Hey y'all, I'm Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I'm going to wrap up the 2020 vision, Living Life Through a God Lens, the devotional from By the Well for God, and I will be on day 14. This devotional has been sold out, but I do know that Lori and Tom at By the Well for God have plans to restock it, so if you did not get to participate the first time around, keep an eye out. I'll link it below if it is in stock or when it goes back in stock, I'll make sure to link it below. It has been a fantastic devotional. It was written by the members of the creative team, including myself, and it was just a wonderful way to start the year, but I think it would be a wonderful pick-me-up at any point throughout the year. So if you missed out, make sure to check out below to see if it is in stock, but I'm going to jump into day 14. I'm going to be using a stencil, some watercolors from the kit, and we'll kind of see where this page takes us. Let's go. For this page, I'm going to be using this large stencil with snowflakes on it. It is from the Crafters Workshop. I will make sure to link it below. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I get in a rut with my supplies. I love stencils. I use them all the time, but I tend to use them in the same way. I put ink over the top. I spray over the top. And this in this entry, I am challenging myself to do something a little bit different. What you see there is I am taking what is actually a watercolor pencil and I'm using that watercolor pencil to trace out snowflakes and I'm going to do this across the whole page. The idea is that I will then be able to come back with watercolors over the top and because I used a watercolor pencil, those are designed to dissolve or to react in water and so once I watercolor over the top, you won't be able to see the lines that I traced behind, if that makes sense. I've seen a few uh, online YouTubers, I know um, Hello Jilski and Lindsay Decor have both done easy watercolor techniques where they did a light stamp before, like taking a really light color of Distress Oxide ink or another water reactive ink, stamping down your image, watercoloring over the top of that, and then you kind of lose the lines and that way it looks like you just kind of did a freehand watercolor image. And this is the same idea, except I'm trying to use my stencils. I'm in this kick where I just want to use all the supplies that I have. I have so many supplies and with creativation happening recently and a few other new cool lines coming out, I, I'm really tempted to go buy more supplies when I know I really don't need any more supplies. And so in order to kind of, um, satisfy that urge to, to do something new or to have something new. I'm trying to use my supplies in some ways that are new to me. And this was a fun way to, to kind of use the stencil to play with the idea of snow. Does this entry necessarily have to do with snow? No. Sometimes Bible journaling entries can just be a matter of creating a beautiful background where you want to add your thoughts all the time spent on watercoloring and tracing and things like that, it is beneficial because it's time spent reflecting on the passage and on your thoughts and prayers that uh, came up as a result of reading the Word of God and the devotional. Now, this is obvious, obviously sped up a whole bunch, but what I'm using is the watercolor samples that come with the kit. When you order by the Well for God devotional kit, you get watercolor sample card and it is Daniel Smith watercolors, which are fantastic, gorgeous watercolors. And I'm using a very, very fine tip water brush pen. The water reacts the watercolor on the card and then you can paint with it. And I thought it would be fun to play with the color scheme of the kit, but use an unexpected element. And in that case, it is this snow that I'm using. Of course, I'm recording this and it's January and it's really cold outside and it is definitely winter. And I think of winter a lot of times as kind of gray and bleak, but really when sun hits snow, I, the colors that can, can pop out are, are kind of shocking. And I love the idea of snowflakes all being different and and God kind of keeping a warehouse of snowflakes and that he created all of these snowflakes and when you look really closely that there is just a gorgeous art to them and that does definitely relate to the devotional today. The passage I am reflecting on is in Jude 1 24 through 25 and it reads, now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy 
To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time, now and forever. I thought the timing of this devotional right at the end of the study was really perfect. So my devotional opens the study. It's day one and it is about setting goals, which is kind of the mindset a lot of people are in right at the beginning of January and setting goals and trying to become the very best version of ourselves and become the people that God really designed us to be. And then here in this devotional, Laura talks about the inevitable stumbles that we run into. And now that we're hitting mid-January, I know as far as my resolutions and my goals, there certainly have already been stumbles and shortcomings and things that I have to continue to work on. And I even had my daughter, who is almost nine, has set a goal for herself of reading the Bible every day. And she came to me in tears when it was bedtime yesterday and was really upset and said she felt like a failure because she had forgotten for a couple days and had not been reading her Bible. And so I talked to her about that we all fail. We all have shortcomings and setting these goals is not about trying to earn love or earn respect from God or, or anyone else, but it's really just about trying to live our best lives. And that sometimes we have to acknowledge that we fall short, but the good news is that God is there. And that's the theme of the last day of this devotion by Laura is that no matter how often we stumble, we have, but God, he, she says he is there to pick us up, brush off our failings and present us as perfect before himself simply because he can and he wants to. It is purely due to his grace that we make it through this life at all. So those are some of the thoughts that I'm kind of reflecting on as I am painting here. This is just some simple watercolor. I'm using limited water because I'm trying to keep the image within the sketched out image, but I am going over the lines to make sure that that watercolor pencil reacts. I used a very, very light gray so that it would blend in with the colors. It's kind of fun playing with different colors. So these are obviously not your typical snowflake colors and I'm blending colors throughout. Um, each snowflake has at least a couple different colors worked into it and I am loving the look. I thought this was so fun. I loved the bold color scheme of this kit. I know it scared some away, but it's, it's something that I was really enjoying. So after all of the snowflakes were filled in, I decided I just wanted it to have even a more artistic kind of flair, be a little bit messier. So I am working, adding a lot of water. I'm almost at the end of my paint card here. This is one of the few times that I actually use up the paint samples. Usually I have so much, but I did a lot of watercoloring for this kit. And um, I'm just adding splatters of all of the colors around. The more water you use, the thicker your splatters will be. So I tried to change it up to get some different um, dimensions going on with the splatter just to create a little bit more interest. Once I was done with the colors, I did pull out my Koi watercolors to add some black splatters because I really wanted a little bit more black on this page. So I come and I tried to make those nice and juicy. So you can see adding those to a few parts of the page, you can still read all of the text, which I always appreciate. And I make sure all of those splatters are nice and dry before I continue on with my page. Hand lettering is something that I was working on at the end of 2019 and I'm looking forward to continuing that in 2020. So here I'm sketching in my title which is But God and that's kind of the phrase that Laura highlighted. Like no matter our shortcomings, the good news is but God. But God is there. God loves us and has made the sacrifice so that our shortcomings won't be counted against us. I am loving this hand lettering pen. This one is by Tombow. I'll make sure to link it below. It was recommended to me by Shauna Klingerman and it is fantastic, especially when you're like me and kind of a uh, beginner as far as hand lettering and brush lettering goes. So I generally write out my lettering in pencil because I'm not usually confident enough to just freehand my spacing. And then I come back with this hand lettered pen. It does not bleed through my Bible. There's a little bit of shadowing, but you know me, that never bothers me. I can always work around it on the other side. And for the hand lettering, of course, I'm wanting my downstrokes to look a little bit thicker. And so I come back and add a few layers just to really highlight those words and make sure they jump off of the bright background. 
these stamps this month have been so inspiring. So I've been trying really hard to use stamps on nearly every entry. And this is the stamp set that comes actually in the devotional. And I really like the title stamp 2020 vision. And I decided to just stamp that right in the middle of one of my snowflakes up at the top. And then I have room to add a little bit of journaling. And generally I just use one of my acrylic stamp blocks to add in lines to journal on. Sometimes I add in the lines in pencil and then erase, but I wanted just a little bit more black on my page. So I'm just adding in the lines with my Micron pen and then I can come back and add in my journaling notes. I actually end up copying a couple of sentences straight out of the devotional because they really hit home and touched my heart and I just wanted to make sure that I had those written down in my Bible and then I hand letter in the date and my page is almost done. My very last step is to add a tab at the top and I choose one of the ribbon tabs that comes with the kit and then I wanted to add a paper tab and I cannot believe that out of all of the supplies I have that I still don't have a paper tab punch that's been on my list forever but for some reason I've never picked it up so what I do is choose some of the coordinating papers from the kit and I just kind of freehand a tab shape and it's pretty imperfect but I don't mind because I think that's kind of the feel of the page I'm going to add the title but God at the top and adhere that down and that really will be the end of my page it was an honor to be included in this devotional and it continues to be an honor to be a part of the By the Well for God creative team. It has meant the world to me the past year being a part of this team. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. And I hope that you have a fabulous day. As always, keep it creative.